In this video, I'm on a mission to help you find the perfect app for your Zotocaston. If you are in a market for a Zotocaston application, the choices could be overwhelming. At least that's what I felt at the beginning. So hopefully today I can save you some time so that you can get started sooner. So what's the perfect app for Zotocaston? The perfect app would be the app that you would like to create notes and connecting ideas together in that app. Whatever that app is, that's the perfect app for you. To me, there are only two requirements for a Zotocaston app. One, ability to make a note, and two, ability to link notes. Of course, there could be other functionalities that could be helpful, but those are not required, at least in my opinion. Besides features and functionalities, there are other things that you should take into consideration as well. One is speed. How fast it is for you to react and respond to the application. How fast it is for the application to load up the information. Two, availability. Is it available on the platform that you are on like iOS, Android, Mac, and Windows? Three, the format. One is a typical node just like Microsoft Word, Evernote, or Obsidian. Basically, it's just a document with text in it. Another type of format is an outliner. An outliner is an application that has bullet points that could be broken down into sub-bullets, and you can collapse and expand and zoom in to those bullets. Four is the ownership of the notes. Do you own the notes or are the notes stored somewhere in the cloud? And this is important because for personal knowledge management, there could be something that you can hold on for years and years, and you don't want to lose all of these really valuable information. Five is extendability. Can you customize and add on new functionalities that could suit your needs? And last is price how expensive it is. My goal here is not to go into all the details in every single app or trying to do thorough comparisons between apps. Rather, I'm trying to narrow down some options for you. There are two great apps that I don't include in this video. One is Evernote. Evernote is an amazing note-taking app, but it lacks the ability to link notes together easily. Second is Dynalis. Dynalis is a great app as well and is made by the same team that made Obsidian. However, I don't see Danalyst as a top choice in a certain situation, so I don't include it in the video as well. Now that we know all the things that we should consider, let's get into my recommendations, which will be broken down into five categories. First is the great all-around app. I would have to give this to Obsidian. It is fast, it's free, it's available everywhere. You can own your notes. It's very extendable. You can customize the look and feel. You can install plugins and get it to work exactly how you want it. And even though it is a traditional note app, you can do basic outlining. And if you want to do heavy outlining, you can use it together with Logic. There's only one case where I don't recommend Obsidian. It's for those who are not very tech savvy. And even though in this channel, I'm going to provide some content to help with that, it is going to still be very hard for some people. And that's where the second category comes in, the app for those who are not very tech savvy. If you are in a complete Apple ecosystem, I would have to recommend Bear. Bear is beautiful, simple, it is very easy to link notes, tax management is even better than Obsidian, and it is also free, and if you have to pay for syncing, it is very cheap. The only downside is that it's not very customizable beyond the look and feel of the app. But what you get back is the simplicity. But if you are not in a complete Apple ecosystem, I would recommend you checking out Hypernotes or Notion. Hypernotes is relatively new, but it looks very promising. It is fast, beautiful, very simple to use, available on many platforms, and it's free to get started. It is very easy to link notes, and it even has an awesome graph view. The only downside is that Hypernotes is not very popular right now, so it would be harder for you to find resources for your inspiration. The other option is Notion, which is very popular and you can find many tutorials about Zetocastin and even Second Brain. However, the big downside of Notion is that it's very slow sometimes to create notes and to load information. But if it works for you, then you should give it a try. If you are comfortable with technologies and willing to try new apps, there are a couple of options that will be open for you. 
If you are a student, I would recommend Remnote. Remnote is a really awesome app, and I even use it for two to three months for my Zettelkasten. It is really cool looking. You can do many things with your text. And the coolest thing about this app is the flashcard feature, which is really awesome. You can do one side flashcard, you can do double sided, and there are many features for space repetition and active recall, which is perfect for a student. The reason why I left Remnote is because they didn't have an app at the time, and also the app was a little bit buggy. But I hope they fix it, and it could be a really great option, especially for a student. The next category would be the casual personal knowledge. Management. This would be a lifelong learner. It is someone that has a full-time job and just does personal knowledge management on the side, just for self-development. For this camp, I would recommend Obsidian or Logseek. If you like writing a paragraph or want the flexibility to switch between writing a paragraph and bullet points, then Obsidian could be a right choice for you. But if you mainly want to do outlining, then Logseek would be a better fit. However, you don't have to choose because you can use. Obsidian and Logseek together in one system, and I can cover this in the future video if you would like. But I found that switching between Logseek and Obsidian all the time doesn't really work. You have to mainly use one app and then use another app to supplement. So it's your call whether you want to use Obsidian as your main app or you want to use Logseek as your main app, or you just want to use one app and you don't want to use the other app at all. But if you don't mind paying 15 bucks every single month and also spending some Time to learn the application. Roam Research could be an interesting choice for you. Roam is really great for block referencing, and also it has many awesome features that other apps don't really have. Last is for serious personal knowledge management, and this would be for people like academic researcher or nonfiction writers. For this camp, I would recommend Roam Research. Roam has an amazing block referencing functionalities that is even better than Obsidian, and it also has many built-in features that I think it would be really beneficial for the researchers. And 15 bucks a month is well worth it if you use this for your full-time job. And that's my recommendation. I will leave a bunch of links in the description so you can research more to find your perfect app. In the end, don't over perfecting too much. Just get started. Try to use some apps, and if you don't like it, you can change it later on. If you have any questions, please leave down in the comments below. Thank you so much for your time, and I'll see you in the next one.